next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll show you the welterweight championship between Bruce Lee and Sonoran Chowdhury. I hope you guys will like it. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions. Certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bazooka. This is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making a fight. Ready. So here we go with round one, and on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me, I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh my goodness, <laughs> and you laugh just like that, because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado, I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Nice punch land over the top. Nice one, two there. He that comes knee, through with a big hit. That knee hurt him. Oh, 
came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just a slip there. Punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. There. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. A single collar tie. Look at him drive his shit into his opponent's body with that body kick. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Over and over, he landed with big body kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Three minutes have gone by here in round one. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, big knee. Look at the turnover in that kick. Big head kick. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just missed with the left there. Liver kick. Seconds left. 15 seconds. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Boy, tie plump. Nice body. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Round two is underway. Nice straight punch. 
I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice right hand, John. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice body right under the elbow. That punch, no good. All right, single collar tie now. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Punch over the top. Back to the jab now, no good. Single collar tie there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Single collar tie now. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Missed with that right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful body kick. Tie. Big oh. knee lands there. <laughs> Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. Fighters back to their feet here. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Big kick land. Engages in the single collar tie. Oh, big punch land. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world class display of striking here tonight. Watch the shot. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, perfect head kick there. Oh, straight right. And he's looking for that left hand. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, he might be out. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Way to hide that leg kick. Got the single collar tie. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Whoa! Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. What a punch. A nice combination of strikes there by Lee. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Beautiful punch. Relax, relax. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. 
20 seconds left. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has it. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh! Nice body kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. Ooh, what a punch. <laughs> Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Hands up, hands up. Circling away towards the left now. Let's go. Push forward and use it. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. All right, he closes the door. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Boom! Big jab. Oh, big left hook there. Knee to the body. Nice kick. Turn it around. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Trying to kick the leg out. size of that bruise on his body, his opponent will likely continue oh. to attack. He's out! Wow! Wow! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly gonna enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. And new UFC.
UFC welterweight champion. Those words sound good. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. There's a new king at 170 pounds. There is nothing better than hearing and new. It's almost like the weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. The journey is complete. You are now the UFC champion. Up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, presenting the challenger, Bazooka. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. Ready to fight. So the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. Oh! oh! 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice wrist. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. Oh, oh and even Ari rolled right into a heel hook attempt, or so it looks. Man, this is flashy and certainly effective here tonight. Let's see if he can close the show from here. Staying busy. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you. For the bottom fighter, what does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura here. Oh! And the turn on the elbow, he's gonna chase the submission finish. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bazooka. All right, so there is a new world order at 170 pounds. Congrats to the new UFC welterweight champion of the world. I can't say I'm surprised. We've seen this guy on his journey to this championship at every step. He looked fantastic. And tonight, that continued in dethroning the long-reigning champion.